All right, I'm back. Well, I've got all this timber here, and a majority of it is about 24, well, between 20 and 25 inches in diameter. And I bought that in my other video. I went out and bought a 16 inch bar chainsaw, and it's just not cutting it. So uh, I have a lot more of these limbs or trees to come to cut yet. I got that pine tree there that's a big one there so what I did I went out and I bought another chainsaw wasn't too crazy about having to buy another one but uh that's what I did and on this one here I bought an echo sorry about the photography uh, I paid full price I this is not an endorsement I'm not getting money for this or anything. It's just I've had good luck with echoes in the past uh, with a pruning saw, uh, a tiller. They've always started right up for me, no problem. So I figured I'd buy this echo timber with it's a CS590 chainsaw, professional grade. Comes with a five year warranty, which is fine with me. It's a 59.8 cc with a 20 inch bar. Uh, a couple things in case you haven't looked into them or interested. Uh, your gas tank. You can actually see how much gas you have in a translucent to a certain degree. Uh, your oil and gas uh, plugs here. Nice thing about it I like is you take your wrench you put it in there and you can loosen it or tighten it which makes it really nice uh, the other thing I've noticed is that uh, you've got an airport coming in here and uh, here's here's the air filter I really like this it's a two-part it separates there for cleaning but I uh, you got air coming in through here it goes through here and it exits through this side here which I thought was kind of neat uh, okay, I'll reassemble this here, and it's all done with no tools, which makes it nice if you got to clean it when you're out in the, doing your job. Kind of hard to do this one hand here. But, uh, it screws on like that. And what it has, well, obviously this is your on-off, your choke here. And it has like a decompression button here. Instead of a, a pump, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, you know, the, the ball where you fill it up with the oil, or not oil, but gas. It has that instead, and that automatically sets everything. It has a digital electronic starter, whatever that all means. But the other thing I really like about it is to adjust your chain tension, it's here. So you no longer have to try and get in here, which is nothing but a pain. I always hated that. So uh, that's another reason why I bought this one, so I can adjust it there. Uh, 20 inch bar, and it's a full chisel chain, which I've never had a full chisel, chisel chain before. And I'll tell you, this <laughs> it makes a big difference between a full and a semi-full. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coming down with uh, bronchitis here. Uh, so I just thought I'd uh, make a mention. Oh, one thing. Uh, this is my bar oil. I got tired of having to put a funnel or use a funnel when I go to fill my bar oil in here. So all this is is uh, it, you put mustard or ketchup in it. You see them in restaurants. So that way there, I can just fill it here. Plus I can carry this with me. Makes it a lot easier than that. Uh, it also has an, an oil adjuster for your bar, so you can determine how much oil, uh, oil you want to be going on your bar or not, which is a nice feature. And I probably have about an hour on it so far, and it doesn't leak oil or gas, which <laughs> surprised me. A lot of them do, not necessarily this brand, but uh, the ones I've had in the past, they always seem to leak. And I guess one of my pet peeves is 
all the curing cases, you put your saw in like this, and then they leak oil and then you get on the bottom of your case. I wish somebody would design a case where you put your saw in like that. That way there, these aren't laying on the, or facing the bottom, so they're not going to leak necessarily. I think that would be a good design if somebody's paying attention to that is in charge of marketing or designing these things. Uh, they make a case for this lay this way rather than this way. I think that would be a great idea. All right, well, I'm gonna <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to set it up, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to cut this log. And then I measure this log, and it comes right around 24 to 25 inches. And I have a lot of logs to cut. So I'm going to set you up here and go back and get the saw. And hopefully uh, everything will work out fine. Okay, I'll be right back. Now this take me, may take me a couple times to get this started. I'm still still learning the process. didn't take long I don't know if anybody's timing it or not but uh I'm really happy that uh, full chisel what a difference that makes all right well I guess I'm going to uh, take a little break right now as always my videos are free thank you for watching